Australians have made their way. Here they come. Imagine what Tim Payne's going through. Just being called back, he's going to take the stubs. Looking back to almost 12 months ago, did you have any concerns that you belong there? Um, well, yeah, I did. From a batting point of view, I did. First ball on the Ashes summer. But as I've sort of said before, I always felt that I was the best wicket keeper in Australia. And, but yeah, I was certainly nervous. I mean, you always want to play cricket for Australia, but when my name was read out, I was like, Jesus. You sort of almost be careful what you wish for, because it was such a big build up as well, being the Ashes. Yeah. Oh, now. I just wonder if there might have been a little tickle on that. Might have been an edge. I imagine five or six years ago, had I done that, it really would have affected me, particularly in an Ashes test, first test of the summer, when you've just been picked in the team as the best wicket keeper. And I would have wanted to hide, for sure. But I distinctly remember a, a real change in my attitude that day, that I, I wanted the ball, I wanted another chance like that, or one that was tougher, that I could take to, to sort of show that I was worthy of being there. Must be out, it'll be Tim Payne who clings on to it. Oh, again, it's beaten the outside edge. Tim Payne thinks the back foot has shifted. It was a pretty regulation take and, and stumping. Um, but I, I, I was excited because it was a real turning point in the test. Oh, and Ali looked comfortable. The decision goes against. Yeah, I think people saw the celebration as a real relief that I'd got a dismissal where it was actually the fact that Moen and, and Johnny Best they were actually starting to bat really well and had they batted for another 45 minutes we could have been chasing 300 plus so um, yeah it was more just the, the moment in the game and um, as it turned out it, it was a pretty big moment in the whole series. He's loving this, he's right in the thrust of this fielding performance of the Australians and he gets great rewards there. Tim Payne, he's been impressive. Play, that'll race away. I got 13, I think, but I, but I remember walking off actually with a bit of confidence because I thought I'd played really well. Um, strange as that is, or I felt really good and, and I moved really well. I went to the next test in Adelaide, again, just thinking in my own mind that I was, I was batting really well again and, and my confidence was coming back. And again, good batting, Tim Payne. I like this. You bowl short, you're going to go. I was actually sitting with Brad Haddon and we were talking in the change room or in the viewing room that day about trying to, because we were in trouble, just trying to go at that like a weird keeper and actually change the momentum of the game. So if I can get away for 30 or 40, but get them quickly and get it, get the scoreboard moving forward, then it can change the game in a short period of time. It's an excellent shot from Tim Payne. That could be enough for Decker. Oh, you're beauty, it's a biggie. I just went out and, and looked to score and looked to, to take them on a little bit. And um, fortunately it came off and Soss and I got together a really important partnership. Is Tim Payne's 50. It's been a splendid innings and an entertaining one. Was there a moment during that series where you felt like you'd silenced the people who questioned your selection? There wasn't really a moment. I thought I, even after dropping that catch, I think I got out of the, got through the first test, um, having kept really well. Towards the end of the series, yeah, then people started to turn. And yeah, I think it came as well with, with actually making some contributions with the bat and, and the team winning always helps. So, um, you know, the, the longer the series went, the better we got, the less pressure um, I think everyone felt. Oh, is that a nick? Is that it? They're all shaking hands. Congratulations, Australia. You've got the urn. You've deserved it. You've played the better cricket, that's for sure.